all the uni lovers out there, this is a recipe for you. Roasted asparagus with uni hollandaise sauce. The star of the recipe here really is the uni hollandaise. Once you get the sauce down, you can put it on almost anything and it will taste like magic. This recipe is also keto friendly so it makes it a great side dish to go with your proteins. Here are the ingredients. Most of these ingredients will need to be found at an Asian grocery store. First, we are going to season the asparagus. Add 1 tablespoon of sesame oil, 1 teaspoon of bacon fat, about 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of kokorashi for a little spicy cake. Toss asparagus to mix evenly with the seasoning. Place asparagus on a tin foil and pop it into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 5 minutes. Now let's make a simple dashi stuff. Add 1 teaspoon of dashi powder to 3 tablespoons of warm water. Stir to dissolve. In a blender, add 3 raw egg yolks, add the dashi stock we just made, 1 teaspoon of yuzu juice, 1 tablespoon of uni paste. Now uni paste is seasoned uni that is bottled. It has a longer shelf life than the fresh uni, and you can find them in the seafood section of most Korean markets. Add a fourth teaspoon of salt and a fourth teaspoon of white pepper. Then turn your blender on liquefy and blend for a few seconds. Melt half cup of butter in the microwave. I am setting it to one minute, but the time will depend on your microwave. You want to make your butter not only melted, but piping hot. Once you remove it from the microwave with the blender on liquefy, slowly pour the hot butter into the uni mixture. Blend for about a minute until the butter emulsifies. You will see it will be a nice, smooth, creamy texture. Taste to see if you need to season it more to your liking. Pour the hollandaise sauce into a cream pitcher so it will be easy for us to pour onto our asparagus. Take the asparagus out of the air fryer onto a plate. Drizzle the uni hollandaise sauce over the asparagus generously and then top with furikake, fried garlic, and tokarashi. If you like this recipe, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more unique Asian and Asian fusion recipes.